Hello everyone, welcome back to the new episode of our tutorial series on web application with Oracle Apex. In the previous episode, we have learned how to add auto increment using sequence and trigger in Oracle database. And in this episode, we will create a new table and also implement auto increment using sequence and triggers. So without further ado, let's move to our tutorial. So let's go to our SQL workshop and we will write a query to create a table and save it in SQL script. So let's go with SQL script and then let's create a new script. So in this script we will be writing query to create table and create sequence and create trigger as well. So it will be create uh, it will be tbl underscore product with auto increment so that's it and let's write the query to create our table create table tbl underscore product and then parenthesis and we will write the columns uh, with data type so first one will be product underscore id it will be number and uh, we need to give its length as well it will be 10 and it cannot be null so not null and then another one will be category id we also need to give uh, a specific category for our product so category underscore id and it will also be number and its length will also be uh, 10 and it also cannot be null because it is a foreign key primary key and foreign key cannot be null values and let's give product product title and it will be varchar2 let's give its length as 100 and it also cannot be null so not null and uh, let's keep another one which will be product description and it will also be barcode 2 its length will be one, uh, let's give 250 and then let's uh, create another column which will be rate and it will be also a number it is a decimal it, it can be rate can be a decimal so we will add precision value which is 2 so we need uh, 2 values after decimal so this is 2 and after that we also need to give quantity how many products do we have so let's say it will also be number and let's give its length as 10 after that let's give uh, manufacture date and expire date as well so mfg date and it will be date data type and last one is expiry date and it will be date data type so this is it uh, this will create a tbr product with product id category id product title product description rate quantity manufacturer and expiry date so let's end it with semicolon and then we will need to add primary key column so alter table add constraint and its constraint name will be primary key on product id pk product id and constraint name primary key and column which is product id underscore id similarly we also need to create foreign key constraint so alter table add constraint sorry i forgot to give the table name here table product and here also product and then constant name which is fk foreign key underscore category underscore id and then constant name foreign key 
and foreign key will be category underscore id and then we need to give references reference and here we will get a uh, table name which is tbl underscore category and inside the tbl category we have category id so that's it this is the query to create a foreign key alter table table name add constant constant name which is foreign key category underscore it and constant name is foreign key and what is the foreign key category id this category id is this and reference will be from tbl category we are getting this category id from tbl category category id so that's it this will create a table product with primary key product id and foreign key category id now let's create a uh, sequence and trigger for auto increment so we will add uh, all the things in same sql script so let's create a sequence create sequence and sequence name will sequence underscore product id and start with one increment by one no cache no cycle that's it and then let's create a trigger to insert a unique sequence id in our product id column as well so create a replace trigger and let's give the trigger name as trg underscore tbl underscore product and then we want to execute this trigger before insert and on tbl underscore product for each row and then begin begin and we need new dot product underscore id colon is equals to and then we will pass sequence dot next value and at the end end so that's it so this will create a trigger for us which is create a replace trigger and trigger name is trigger tbl underscore product before insert on tbl underscore product for each row begin new dot product underscore id colon is equals to sequence of our product id and next value and end so this will add auto increment in our product id column so this is it let's save it by clicking on create button and it will save our sql script for create table with auto increment and let's run it and check it whether our query run successful or not so i'll just click on this play button or run button and let's click on run now so we have successfully created table uh, added primary key added foreign key uh, created sequence and created trigger as well so statement process 5 successful 5 error 0 so this is it so we have successfully created our tbl underscore product table in our uh, oracle database so thank you so much for watching if you like this video then don't forget to like share and subscribe and if you have any confusion related to this video then don't forget to comment i reply as soon as possible and in the next episode uh, we will uh, create form uh, to add update and delete uh, category and also display the category uh, that we inserted uh, in our oracle application so that will be our web application with oracle officially started creating category module so till then see you soon bye bye